Hello, everyone. I'm so glad that you could join us today. We are here to talk about the energies and how they are affecting everyone and the shifting that's been going on in our lives. I'm very happy that you all could join us. The energies have been incredibly heavy up and down this week for me in my life. I've been going through small periods where it's been very heavy on me and I've had to sit back and relax and just be still and other points where I've just felt wonderful and amazing and ready to jump in. I know I speak to many that that experience really being drug under by these, these energies sometimes. It's not always easy for us, although the easy part, I think, comes when we can be still inside of ourselves and trust and know that we're always safe and protected and divinely guided. Very good. Hi, this is Sam. I can tell you that my life is uh, radically changing, as many of you know. May 10th of last year, I had an opportunity to experience a death gate and my soulmate, Hannah, ran down the back stairs and actually resuscitated me. So in a recent uh, medical visit, uh, I was thanking the doctor for saving my life. And she said, the person that saved your life is Hannah. She gave you mouth-to-mouth resuscitation, kept you going until we got there. So with that kind of an experience, I just let it be and mean whatever it needs to mean. So my life has shifted radically. I closed my business October, end of October last year. And I really haven't had a source of income since then. And I'm in the process of discharging debt. I'm doing fine, by the way. I I haven't uh, failed to pay my bills. I have plenty of food. But if I don't get a job in the next month or two, I'll probably have a severe problem on my hands. Yet in the midst of all of that, spirit is very reassuring to say, hold still. You're doing what you're supposed to do. And I'm connected to source in a way I've never experienced in my entire life. So the clarity that comes through that is stunning clarity for me. About a week ago, uh, Hannah and I really decided that it was time for her to move out of our home. She's wanting to navigate on her own. Uh, Some of our living arrangements uh, are making the little irritable things that allow us to say we love each other, but we're going to find different quarters to live our life in the physical dimension in a different way. And at a personal level, that is traumatic, dramatic, all of the above things. She's much more emotional than I am. I do have emotions, by the way. And we all have a chance when we do relational changes and make new contracts with our soul contracts to really look at what we've done to contribute to it working and what we've done that allowed distortions to occur in the relationships. And I can tell you, and as I've worked through my own shit, I'm doing that professionally as well with a group called Heartfire. They've been very important in this process, by the way. That I'm finding that instead of being a shrinking and withdrawing an ego wound, it's actually counterintuitive. It's more open. I have a better perspective of what it looks from a higher dimension. And knowing that Hannah, as I am, is a sentient being, an angelic human, here in the physical dimension, to experience contrast. And my sovereignty has nothing to have power over in her life because that's not who I am. And that certainly isn't who she is. So my work is to bless the people that come and go from my life so that as a oneness, we are working and moving about this physical dimension in a coherent and a harmonious way. It's possible if the mind can conceive it and understand that we can achieve it, and we are here for this very special time. I've provided some links to the people that are in the group. I'd appreciate the opportunity to share some details about that if you have interest, but I won't bore you with uh, additional information at this time. 